<laughs> so yeah, the film's coming out on March the 5th called Vinyl. It stars Phil Daniels from Quadrophenia, the great Mark film, and uh, Keith Allen from Train Spotting, this great Scottish movie. And uh, it's based on a true story in the alarm history from 2004 when we had a band called and we changed our name from the alarm to the poppy fields and fooled the entire music industry in the process. But the, the history was changing our name doesn't just begin there, it goes right back to the very beginnings of the alarm. In fact, if you look at the official biography for the alarm that you can see online, it says the band started in 1981. But that's not actually factually correct. Their band actually started in 1977 with a punk band called The Toilets from real North Wales. And uh, we were the sort of band, we were actually the very first ever Welsh punk rock band. And uh, we kind of flared up and burnt out as fast as could possibly be. But in the time we were together, we managed to play with some of the great bands at the time and in uh, the summer of 77 I went to this club in Liverpool called Eric's and it was on Matthew Street where the Beatles started out in the cavern and still got the famous sign the four lads who shook the world above the door. I went there and then there was a guy behind the counter uh, selling tickets for their punk gigs that were coming up and I went to him and said uh, is there any chance I could have a gig for my band from Wales? And uh, this guy's name was Roger Eagle, and uh, he said to me, uh, well, yeah, sure, you know, we do these Saturday afternoon auditions, so if you come back next week, I might give you a gig, but what's the name of the band? And I said, we're called The Toilets. And he said, that's a shit name, isn't it? <laughs> he really did. He said, I tell you what, you can have a gig, but you've got to change your name, that's a horrible name, you've got to change your name. He goes, what's your name? And I, I didn't know what to say at the time, but because we all had stage names in, in 1977, if you're old enough to remember that time, though, everyone changed their name to avoid getting picked up by the doll. <laughs> so our bass player, Glyn, his name was Steve Shock. And uh, our singer was from Coleraine in Northern Ireland, one of our best mates at school, no longer on the planet. But he, his name was uh, O'Malley, Richard Jones, his name was. But he changed his name on stage to Bo Larks. <laughs> and I was called um, W.C. Smith. <laughs> Shit, that one, innit? But you may, you may remember a guy called Nigel Buckle who changed his name to join the alarm and his name was Twist. Nigel Twist. <laughs> well, he was in the toilets as well. And his stage name was Des Troy. <laughs> Work that one out. Des Troy. <laughs> give up on that one. <laughs> anyway, I, I said, uh, my name's W.C. Smith, and he goes, that's not your real name, is it? Come on, give us your real name. I went, well, it's Eddie Bop. And he went, that's much better. <laughs> so he said, you can play as Eddie Bop next week. So we turned up a week later to play at lunchtime in Eric's, and we went on stage, and we played our Fast and Furious punk rock set, and it lasted about 15 minutes. And um, we played about 40 songs. <laughs> And as we finished, Bob Geldof, you know, from Live Aid, he jumps up on the stage and shook me hands and said, oh, that was fucking great, mate, in this, was, you know, Irish accent, of course. <laughs> and then uh, Roger Eagle jumped up and said, that was amazing, you guys, do you want to play with a Clash tonight? <laughs> yeah, right, we do, I said. Excuse the language. <laughs> so, we went out on stage with a Clash and we played all these songs we'd written at the time. Punk rock songs of the finest caliber, I dare say. And uh, that was the only, probably the few times we ever played them. We played with The Clash, we played with The Buzzcocks. And then the band imploded and it became a mod band called Seventeen. And then we were everything. We kind of were reggae one week, punk, rockabilly. We even played up here in, in Kakodi in Scotland as Alarm Alarm. First ever time, but nobody knows that until tonight.
Anyway, it wasn't the only time, Kakodi, yeah. It wasn't the only time we uh, changed the name. In, in 1982, when the band, The Alarm, was together, we couldn't get a gig in the Marquee Club in London, very important venue at the time. And it was mainly because we'd been in the toilet, 17, all these things, and the guy who ran the Marquee Club, knew we were from Wales, and he was like the guy from Roger Eagle. He just thought, you're shit. You can't have a gig. So, do you remember uh, Gene October? He was a singer of Chelsea. Well, James Stevenson, who plays guitar on the alarm, he was in Chelsea in that time as well. And Gene October came to one of our gigs and he said, and we told him we couldn't play at the marquee. And he said, I'll get you the gig at the marquee, him and James. Um, but they said, you've got to change your name. And fucking hell, not again. So anyway, we, we changed the name to the Black Sheep. We were from Wales, come on. Anyway, we were playing the gig and it was all going great and the audience were going mad and everything. And the guy from the Mark Lee Club sort of nudged our manager in the middle of the crowd and he goes, mate, these are going to be massive, who are they? And he said, that's the band from Wales you hate, pal. <laughs> so we got plenty of gigs in the marquee. And so the history of changing our name is not, is not just a new thing, but the film Vinyl is based on the incident in 2004 when we literally did fool the entire music industry. But that's not really what the film is all about. The film Vinyl has its roots in this, and it's a song called The Spirit of 76. <laughs> We might take you back to 76 and bring back the toilets tonight. Well, I find myself in reverie by what we might have had and what might have been. We had something going once that was such a long, long time ago. Our friendship for the pure innocence We first met on Matthew Street And we heard something that would set us free A sign stands over a door It says for that to shoot the world In the depths of those heavy nights
Somewhere tonight